Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, I am really sorry that this has to be your first impression of me. I promise that I don't look this crusty every single day, but instead of getting done up for the intro, I wanted to keep it real, and I have been really letting myself go for the last few weeks with this whole quarantine thing, and I know that probably a lot of you are in the same boat as well, and don't feel bad for that, it just is what it is. It's so hard to film an intro too when you're not looking or feeling your best. But yeah, today we are going to be doing a self-care video. We are going to be going head to toes all out, doing it all. So if you're interested in seeing some self-care, getting some inspiration, or maybe you want to do your self-care along with the video, go ahead. Put a face mask on, light a candle, and let's just get into the video. The very first thing I like to do when doing a full self-care day is I go right to the bathroom and apply coconut oil all over my hair and scalp. For you people out there with a super dry scalp, this is the only thing that I found helps reduce dryness, itchiness, and it hydrates my actual scalp. I like to make sure that the coconut oil I choose is always 100% organic and cold pressed, pure coconut oil. I don't like any fillers or added ingredients, so if you're interested in buying a coconut oil, be mindful of that when choosing one. First, comb your hair, which I forgot to do in the video, and you're going to see that my hair gets very knotted from this. So it really helps to comb your hair through first and then apply it. As for application, I honestly just kind of put it on randomly. I don't separate my hair or section it or anything like that. I feel like that's fine just as long as your hair is 100% completely saturated with the coconut oil. I like to let the coconut oil sit on my hair for at least one hour. I've seen people do it overnight, but I once read this article saying that after a few hours, it doesn't really penetrate the hair any further anyway. So I feel like an hour or two is just as good as leaving it in overnight. Also, just a mini pro tip, if you have never used coconut oil before but you're interested, you may have seen some people heat it up in the microwave before to soften the coconut oil for an easier application, but that actually does affect the potency of the coconut oil. If you let the coconut oil rest on your hands for a few seconds, the natural heat from your hands is enough to soften up the coconut oil for an easier application. To finish off the mask, I always like to tie my hair back with a loose ponytail holder just to keep it out of my face because it does get annoying. To pass time while I let the mask sit on my hair, I go to the kitchen and make a quick snack. The snack can be a snack of your choice, whether it would be on the healthier side or kind of like a cheat type of snack. I usually go for avocado toast, but today I did not have an avocado, so instead I am going to be toasting two pieces of bread and topping it with almond butter with a sliced banana along with a coconut based yogurt and to drink along with it i have a green tea straight meaning i don't add anything into it I always head up to my room to eat my snack because I just feel so cozy and comfy in my room. I also love lighting candles, especially on self-care days, as it just brightens my mood and makes me feel calm. Usually, when eating my snack, I watch some YouTube. In specific, I love true crime. Comment down below what your favorite activity to do on self-care days is. After I'm done eating and I'm ready to move again, I head over to the bathroom to take care of my nails. Usually, I'm not a fan of painting my own nails. I would much rather go and get a pedicure, but I always do keep up with the hygienic side of things, making sure my nails are nicely shaped, my feet are clean, exfoliated, and super soft. First, I do a foot soak, then I exfoliate them, and then I move on to shaping them, and finally lotioning my feet. So I trimmed and shaped my nails off camera, but once I'm done with all that, I head over to my shower and I'm going to be doing my super crazy shower routine. I only do this on pamper days, which is usually once every three to four weeks. I just go all out. By the way, these are obviously all not my products. I do share the shower with two other people in my house. 
The only negative thing about using coconut oil on your hair is that you have to make sure you fully rinse it all out. If you don't rinse properly, you will end up with oily hair even after your shower. So to ensure that I get all the coconut oil out, I do shampoo twice. I shampoo once with the Kristen S. Scout Purifying Shampoo, and then my second time I use her Fragrance Free Line, just an everyday use shampoo that I use to get an extra cleanse. I love her products by the way, the majority of my hair care is her brand, I really like how she has a product for everything, and also her brand is aesthetically pleasing. Her products have really good ingredients too, I love how there's never any sulfates, silicones, or parabens, and all that jazz you guys know the drill, you can check out her products for yourself if you would like. I feel like it can be hard to find an entire brand that is free of all those things, and sometimes I see companies where they might have like a product or two without them, but her whole brand is based on that, so that's what I really like about using her products. I know it's a brand that I can trust. For my conditioner on Pamper Days, I like to go in with the Kristen S. Deep Conditioning Hair Treatment, and it is fragrance-free. It also has no silicones. Like I mentioned before, her whole brand doesn't have silicones, but it's so hard to find a conditioner or hair mask without silicones, so I love how this one is free of that ingredient. This makes my hair feel so soft, and it feels amazing. This is seriously one of the best deep conditioning hair treatments I have ever used. I put this only on the mid lengths to the ends of my hair, and I let this sit on for the rest of my shower. After putting on the hair mask, I am moving on to exfoliating my whole body. I used these little cubes. I actually got them in my last FabFitFun box, and I love them so much. They work really well, and they have the best smell ever. I like to exfoliate to prep my legs to be shaved. Nothing is better than getting that super close shave on pamper days. Moving on to skincare, for my cleanser, I use the NXN Gel to Milk Cleanser for dry and sensitive skin. This cleanser has done wonders for my skin. I really stand by NXN Beauty. They're one of my favorite brands for skin. I put the cleanser on my face first, and then I put it on my Duval Spin Brush, which I was able to get for a low price thanks to Gabby's coupon code. I'm sure you guys all know about that. I'm really happy that I was able to get a really nice quality spin brush for an affordable price. I use it all the time and I love it. The next step in my skincare routine is an exfoliator. I use this once a week. By the way, I forgot to mention the cleanser I use every time I shower. But the exfoliator I'm using is the NXN Powder to Foam 1. I think it is a really unique design. This is for all skin types and it isn't too harsh on my skin. It is a very gentle exfoliator. The last product for my face that I use in the shower is this lip scrub by Lush. This scent is my favorite but they only make it at winter time so when I run out I just buy it on Poshmark until they come out with it the following year. Finally, once I'm done with my skincare, I rinse out the conditioner that I left in on my hair. I do rinse with cool water, and then I am ready to get out of the shower. That is the end of my Pamper Day shower routine. After my shower, you guessed it, I'm using a Kristen S. Detangling Spray. I spray this all over the mid lanes and the ends of my hair, and then I go in with a wet brush and I comb my hair. Also, I always let my hair air dry. I never ever use heat on my hair to dry it. After my hair, I am going to be going in and tweezing the underparts of my eyebrows. I have really been avoiding even touching the tops of my eyebrows and I found that that really helped me grow in the shape. I just kind of look in the mirror and see what needs to be taken out from the bottom. 
If I'm unsure, I just leave it go. But if there's a hair that I know is totally just completely out of place, then obviously I go in and I take that out. This right here is a quarantine essential. This will save anyone's life, I swear. All the wax places are closed, and this product right here is called the Flawless Hair Remover. I will link everything down below that I used. But all you need to do is put batteries in it, and then you take it wherever you want to remove hair. I used to get my upper lip waxed daily once every two weeks on the dot i absolutely hate it and every single time i went that was straight up 15 dollars just for that so this tool right here i can use whenever i want and obviously it's free it's just a one-time purchase it is very useful i highly recommend it it takes away every single hair without doubt and i think the best part about it is that one it's easy to use and two it's pain free the next thing I'm doing is I'm going to be applying two face masks. One is this Pores Be Gone mask and I'm going to be applying that strictly to my nose and kind of my T-zone area where your pores are naturally bigger. This is probably the best face mask that I've ever used on my pores. Not only does it make my face look super smooth afterwards, but it also minimizes the appearance of my pores. Truly, if you have problems with your pores, whether they fill up with dirt a lot or they are on the larger side, I highly recommend this mask. It's also very affordable. After the Pores Be Gone mask, I go in with this Generation Clay Purple Brightening Mask. I actually got this in my last FabFitFun box and I really, really like it, so I just like to incorporate it into my Pamper Days. The masks usually take about 10 to 15 minutes to dry, so I'm just going to be applying this lotion. This is the Velvet Body Cream from Victoria's Secret. This is one of my favorite creams. I love the consistency, the way it makes my skin feel, and the scent is also amazing. I got this during the semi-annual sale for $4.99. When I'm done lotioning my legs and feet, I love to put fuzzy socks on. It is the best feeling. I think we can all agree with that. And just look at how cute my socks are. They're Cat Kate Spade socks and they match my cat. After I wash the masks off my face, I go right to skincare. And honestly, I don't really want to go too into depth with this because I want to make a whole separate video on it. But to make it short, I toned my face. I applied some lotion and acne treatment along with some scar gel treatment. And that's about it. And that was it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys either followed along with the video or maybe got motivated to do some self-care. It's really good to just take some time for yourself and really just pamper your body and take care of it. I will definitely be doing a full daytime skincare routine very shortly, so if you're interested in that, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you don't miss it. I make videos like this all the time, and hopefully I will see you in my next one. Bye!